Ahmed Alduri here, bringing you another tutorial. People have been asking how to do hair, and uh, so I figured I'd make a video. I've been on kind of a break, it's been a while since I've made a video, but check it out. To really understand how to draw or paint hair, I like to point to ribbons, because ribbons have a nice form language quality that picks up highlights in, in a way that kind of has a geometric shape to it. And so if we're looking at these ribbons, uh, we can see how as uh, the ribbons turn and, and, and whatnot, they pick up highlights in an interesting way. Um, and you can use that when you're drawing hair by kind of drawing big locks of ribbon ribbons and then um, controlling how they flow in and out of each other, etc. Um, but as they get more complex, you'll see that the highlights kind of line up uh, together almost like as if there are one big cylinder. Yeah, so pay attention to things like that because as things turn and um, go into the background or you know move forward or backward into three-dimensional space they will have uh, different angles according to the light and it will pick up highlights differently. Um, and then as you get more complex where a bunch of ribbons are all grouped together you can see how shadows will be cast onto things and um, of course you know the highlights act in a different way depending on the angle um, and because okay if you look at this piece of ribbon up here that the highlight is pretty small because it's a it's a tight you know small uh, kind of bending right but for this part right here the highlight is pretty big it's kind of stretched out because the ribbon itself is stretched out so how does that apply to hair um, I grabbed some uh, pictures of, of hair, uh, you know, pretty pretty girls with, with nice hair, um, and uh, what I can do is trace over one, each one, and as a, as a kind of study. Um, and so if I was to imagine um, each of these kind of groupings as ribbons, so if we just trace, you know, there's a ribbon there's a ribbon and I'm really simplifying it down uh, so that you can understand the form that's happening um, you can make this into two ribbons or just one ribbon um, and there is another ribbon ribbon uh, like that and then they get smaller and smaller in different areas but the point is if we take away the image um, and let's say let's bring back that real quick for a second and you know just indicate the face so that we have context in the neck yada yada um, and we were to let's say shade I'm gonna go ahead and fill it all in with one value alright so they're groups of ribbons right so we know certain shapes pick up certain highlights so let's say this is going to have a highlight there, that, that one's going to have a highlight there, and we'll put a highlight over here on that one. Uh, maybe this one, since it's facing that angle, it's going to have a highlight like that, and then like this. And I'm sort of avoiding like tangencies, so I wouldn't put the next highlight directly in order with the next. I mean, it looks alright, but it looks like it's all one flat piece. But this allows me to stair step in a way, and uh, kind of like, like in the way if you were laying bricks, you wouldn't lay them all directly on top of each other. You would um, offset them so that they support each other. Um, and so, you know, if, that, if that's where the highlights go, then you can blend them, or, you know, however you want. And let's go ahead and do that. I'm just using a, a regular default bristle brush. Um, and very simply blending in those highlights by just painting like this. it's just a it's just a gray color and I'm lightly just pressing it and it, as you can see if we zoom out it feels like hair right and we can lower the opacity and of the line work so you can see it you know grouped together like that um, and that's kind of how I would go about doing it so let's go to the next few and see how this works out and of course it's not exactly what the reference is but the idea is there the grouping of the of the shapes is based on the original. Um, and so if we go to the next one, <clears throat> um, you can start to think of bigger shapes. So if maybe uh, this this was one big ribbon, 
you know, coming down, you know, indicate the face. So we have a context. Um, that's an awful face. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the for the hair. Uh, and we'll go ahead and do the same thing for this. Fill it all in with one value. And I'm doing this very loosely, very sloppy, because I'm just trying to get the message across of how to draw and paint hair. All right. So this time I'm just going to go ahead and blend the highlights in without making them rectangles. So you know maybe that highlight will go here, this highlight will go there, etc. And then this one being a bigger, broader ribbon, the highlight would be bigger. And then you know very simple, very loose, kind of not perfect right now just to sell the idea and there you go and you can refine it to your liking of course and you can change the ribbons around this that's the whole point is uh, understanding the the form of the hair so that you can kind of invent your own ribbons if you will um, and what you could do also is once you have that as a big piece you can actually take uh, some some line and then kind of cut it up a bit and you know put more direction that's the add text message cool the text message reads from Steven it says did you know in and out does mustard grilled hamburgers I'm trying it now no, I didn't know that. That would be awesome, but I'm not in California anymore, and I can't have that. Um, so I'm extremely jealous because I I love In and Out. So yeah, and, and then you know you zoom out and you can. It's got that lush like Pantene Pro V commercial, um, flowy, shiny hair look. Uh, and there, and, and again, it's just thinking of it as ribbons, and then uh, and then things could get more complex, like for this one, and if we have the same concept and we go over everything like this could be one ribbon right and that's a, another ribbon now they're they're bigger shapes um, and you can go in and start adding like subdividing each big ribbon into smaller ribbons etc etc you know so what it's almost like flower arrangement or, or something where you're deciding where the big shapes are first and then kind of going in and putting in the details um, so I'm not gonna uh, paint all of these but I'm gonna uh, just show like the basics of it and sometimes the ribbons are just so clear like I, look at that you know that's definitely a ribbon um, I'm gonna say the word ribbon a lot in this video <laughs> uh, yep so grouping yeah just think about grouping etc etc and okay so here's a challenge it's like it's not flat like locks of hair so but it still has the flow um, that the big groups have so you can still group that together as the thing and then you can you you'll know that the highlights will go here and then here etc um, but you know think big first and then subdivide into smaller shapes um, and while they don't look like pretty you know uh, ribbons like this in your mind you can understand it that way um, so this is a pretty easy one and then for something like braids you can kind of uh, let's see do like a, a cross hatching like that and then cut things off. It, braids are a bit more complex but if you think of them as uh, flat planes it's, it's much easier and then you can say oh the highlights go here or let's just use white there's a highlight there's a highlight there's a highlight there's a highlight etc um, that's probably way off but you get the picture um, so grouping big ribbons and this will all make even more sense when I do an example um, momentarily you know all right so 
understand hair as uh, those kind of groupings and shapes and etc. is very helpful. So let's put this aside and do a quick sketch. Alright, so as you can see, I did this sketch and I had in mind that I kind of drew a head first and then to have a, you know, a starting point. And then I, uh, in my mind, I'm thinking of these as big ribbon shapes, right, um, that I will use as a guide. And I, when, I, when I'm looking at these, I'm thinking, okay, this, if, if I was to subdivide this in, in three-dimensional geometry, like if I was looking at a 3D model wireframe, you know, it would be like, you know, going like that. And you can kind of feel the direction of the flow. And it just so happens that certain planes, uh, let me just do that real quick, like a wireframe. Uh, these will catch light, assuming the light is coming from up here. Uh, like the certain of these uh, polygons will catch light and certain uh, uh, polygons won't, or they will, but it'll, they'll catch ambient light, like maybe warm light from the right and then cool light from the left. I don't know. Um, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. And so if we were to start this uh, painting, um, let's go ahead and move this even further and put her under the spotlight. So on a new layer, I just put in um, very loosely um, kind of a, an underpainting. And from there, I'm going to, if you've seen my other tutorial video, I kind of went over how to do some color. I'm doing it slightly differently this time, but uh, the fundamentals are there. Now, I want to pick a color for the hair. I could just leave it like that. It reminds me of Wendy's, you know, the burger place. You know, food. Food is good. I like, I like food. Let's try something fun. We'll go with blue. Blue hair, why not? Electric blue, yeah. It doesn't have to be clean. I'm just kind of showing the fundamentals. <clears throat> but I've been wanting to do this uh, hair tutorial for a while. Anyway, so let's say, like we talked about earlier, you know, there's going to be a highlight. We know this, and if it acts like a ribbon, uh, of course, when I pick a lighter color of something, I'm going to shift the hue as well. Um, and so I will do it very simply so it makes sense. So this highlight is going to be like that and we're going to blend it momentarily but I just want to, I want to block it in so you guys can kind of uh, see clearly how this works. And so that highlight goes there, assuming that it's like a, a cascade of ribbons. I don't know, I'll go there. And another one goes there. I don't know how to speak English anymore. Um, and yeah, you just kind of go at it. When you zoom out, it kind of starts to feel like your brain blends it in for you um, when it's in the thumbnail view. So let's just keep going. Uh, People have uh, asked some questions uh, in the comments in the other videos. Uh, one, one question I was getting is why don't I do my tutorials in Arabic? Uh, I don't... <laughs> I, I speak Arabic, but my Arabic isn't that good. Uh, it, it's the Iraqi dialect, so it's not... I don't know, not everybody understands it. And I'm slowly learning um, the uh, classical dialect from the Quran, but... Um, uh, إني أريد أن أتكلم معكم في في العربي ولكن 
صعب علي لأنه لا أعلم كل كل الكلمات مع الرسم. So yeah. And so from here I would um, kind of just since I've established where those highlights are, I can start blending it in. Now I'm just selecting kind of the mid value in between and uh, pecking away at it. And, and it sort of isolates that hot spot um, as if it's like kind of more organic or natural. And look at that, it's so simple. And when you zoom out, you're like, yes, that that's hair. That That's definitely hair. Um, well, it's not, it's just pixels, but you, you get it. And it's so simple, so to the point. Um, you don't have to sit there and draw every single strand like a like a weirdo. Um, I mean, some people like to get into nitty gritty hyper realism details, but I'm just not <laughs> like that. Uh, so, hey man, what brushes do you use? Um, this is just a default. It's, it's in Photoshop, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I didn't download it or get anything. But I do have the opacity set to um, pen pressure. I'm using a Wacom pen. Yeah, look at that. Done? Almost, almost done. Uh, another trick is, um, so uh, you, you'll see this a lot in, in uh, artwork by J.C. Leyendecker, uh, who's a classic Golden Age illustrator, um, painted uh, in oils, I believe. Um, so you have like two, you have the highlight, right? This right here, and you have one side, which is this side and it's assuming that it's facing a different direction that's why it's not getting a highlight and then you have the other side also facing a different direction now this side and this side are kind of the same color a nice trick to do is make them slightly different in color so I'm just gonna go all out and make the other side more warm or magenta like um, and then you have this feel like there's more dimension to your painting um, like there's another light source from, from the other side. So one side's cool, one side is warm. And let's lower the line work a bit so that the, the painting sort of starts to take over. And then another uh, enhancement you can do start adding some some deep darks and you can uh, kind of map out where some shadows can go so maybe underneath the big uh, pieces of ribbon you can find some really interesting shapes just by adding little triangles here and there you know and then it starts to add to the realism of it and um, it's those little things that uh, make it feel nice and real even though it's just a painting. Um, also, you can take that dark and just at the, the, the edge of the highlight, you can do something like this. And it also had, adds a nice sheen effect, uh, you know, back to the idea of um, Pantene Pro-V shampoo commercial, you know, it makes it feel a bit metallic and shiny um, and stuff. And stuff. Um, but I'm gonna lower that a bit. I think it's a bit much. I'm just erasing out with the same brush. Uh, so if we were to flatten that, and I'm gonna use the the mixer brush over here on the left, and I'm going to just blend it all a little bit more, just to make it feel a bit more painterly. And what you see happening here is we sort of like blend it together and it looks like it's one seamless flow in a way but when you zoom out you and I know that those are kind of two separate blocks of ribbon but it has that stair-stepping effect 
which really helps um, the effect that we're going for. So yeah, I'm just kind of, in a way, smudging it all together using the mixer brush. So the better you get at drawing ribbons, the more awesomer you get at drawing hair. Awesomer is absolutely a word because I just said it, therefore. It is a word. Like if aliens were to get this recording and be like, you know, they're trying to uh, decipher the English language, um, you know, some like Harvard, you know, a, a literature professor might say, you know, you know, like, awesomer is not really a word. You're, you know, you should go back to high school. But like, it's a word because it has meaning and I said it and you guys know what it means. So whatever, man. You know, the aliens are going to be like, yeah, that that's a word because he said it. So, you know, who are you going to trust? The Harvard professor or aliens? What? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, no, okay. Uh, what, I, what I would do next is, let's see, let's go back to the regular brush. It's funny, like later on in the video, I'm starting to like loosen up and wake up a bit more. Uh, I wish I could just start the video in, with this kind of energy, but uh, you know. Y'all know how it is. And so, okay, so I'm using a kind of like the middle value, like finding not a black, but but something. And I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to draw some strands, uh, you know, going in the direction of of the hair. Now, imagine these as like smaller ribbons, like if you were to slice up those bigger uh, chunks, right? And um, we're going to do something with this in a moment that's really cool. Um... All right, so what we have is, you know, strands here, str blah, 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 um, that are going according to the direction of the hair. Uh, what I'm going to do is lock the transparency of this so anything I draw is going to go in there. What I'd like to do is select the highlight, and wherever these lines are against dark, I'm going to put light. So, you know, right? I wouldn't like color it at all because. I still want it to be dark against the highlights, but you end up with this cool effect where it's alternating in highlights and it has uh, another cool trick to make it look even shinier. Of course I'll tone this down because it's kind of like too in your face, um, but that's, that's the gist of how you can sort of take advantage of that alternating highlight situation. And look at that. Look at that, Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? I don't know. Jimmy's not a real person. I just made it up. Made him up. All right. Maybe this maybe this girl's name is Jimmy. Why is her name Jimmy? I don't know. You know, maybe her parents are weird. And uh, some people name their male or female daughters with opposite gender names. And, you know, it's, that's cool. You know, if you want to do that, it's totally awesome if you want to do that. Me, personally, if I have a daughter, I guess I'd give her a female name. Um, but this is Jimmy. <laughs> Uh, look, I just got off an airplane, I need some sleep, but I've been wanting to do this tutorial, because uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so here we go, and yeah. Another thing you can do to enhance the, the feeling of realistic hair, uh, once you have the big blocks of uh, blocks of locks, so locks of hair uh, established, and you, you know, you're at this stage, a finishing touch could be, you know, you take like a smaller pixel brush, you know, four or five pixels, what is that? Four pixels. And um, add some like kind of stray strands here and there. Otherwise it feels like a rock solid helmet. Um, you know, because <clears throat> if you look at the reference, you there's always these like smaller hairs everywhere that are trying to escape from the big masses, the rebels, and 
and just tone it down a bit by erasing. And there you go. There, uh, oh, well, we gotta add rim light, right? That's part of the rules. Isn't it doing anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, and you could also use color dodge on the, the highlights of the hair. You can uh, maybe a darker blue. Picked a dark blue, set to color dodge, adds a nice sheen to it. Ladies and gentlemen, hair. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. T tutorial. Um, what I want to do is kind of. Uh, do more of these, um, like with different hairstyles, and then maybe like do an introduction and put the rest on Gum Road or something. But we'll see what happens. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. This is the um, hair tutorial, and uh, stay tuned for more. All right, see you later.